Just waiting for Jess to finish eating so we can go do something new. This is a new dinner I made. So that, that counts. Just eat this new dinner. It was really good. Thanks. I think this counts as a lazy dinner, but then I realized this is like a normal dinner from your household. <sighs> Put some egg in it, some vegetables, some rice. That's dinner. So, Jess is cleaning the windshield, as you can probably hear. I think it's getting better. Our something new is going to a drive-in theater, because neither of us have ever been. So, we are here at the Mustang Drive-In Theater in Guelph on a Tuesday night. It's going to be really late, and I have to be up really early, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, and we are watching Mad Max. Oh, yay. So, I watched all three of the originals to prepare myself for this one, just to, like not today, but I've watched them all to like do my homework so I know what I'm watching and what I, what this is built on. I haven't watched a single one. Yeah, so Jess is just here because she likes me. So yeah, we'll let you know how it is and how it goes because I obviously can't film it. Okay, talk to you in a bit. So, Mad Max. What did you think, Jess? Uh, kinda yucky. <laughs> kinda yucky. Jess didn't really like it that much. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I actually probably would have watched it, preferred to watch it in theaters, just because of like, our car speakers are not theater speakers. The drive-in experience, since that was something new, what did you think, Jess? Uh, the mosquitoes bit me a little. It's nice because you can talk about things and no one shushes you. You bring your phone out, no one says, excuse me miss, can you put that away? Yeah, it was really nice uh, in that sense. It was fun, but I think a drive-in would be a lot more fun to go see like a comedy or a romance. Not an action, like a big epic action. But anyway. It's really late, I have to be up really early, so let's cut to good and bad. Alright, so, what's been good and what's been bad? Well, to be quite honest, what's been good um, is what's going to be happening. Tonight there's supposed to be a thunderstorm. I love thunderstorms. Whether I'm in a thunderstorm, like outside, or I'm in a home outside of a thunderstorm. Like, thunderstorms are just awesome. I love thunderstorms. I just like things that are big and are epic and are crazy. I love standing on the shore of a big body of water when it's storming outside because the waves are crashing and you're getting drenched by rain and it's super, super windy. I love standing on mountains um, because you just feel, it just feels epic and big and huge. And just anything that is massive, anything that has this feeling of massiveness to it. There's a Celtic term, thin places, Google it. Those are my thin places. Also, going to the drive-in was really cool, so thank you for making us do something new this week. What was bad? I've been like trying to fight off being super sick all week. Jess had a cold, and so I was taking a whole bunch of stuff to make sure I didn't get it, the cold, and then I started to get it, and like I had really, really bad headaches and was super exhausted and a sore throat. I didn't fully get the cold in my nose, though. I, I think I'm okay now. It's, it's a little quick to say. This is the first day I haven't felt sick, but I think I managed to not get sick. But just the, like, the energy that it took to make, like, make sure I was taking like oil of oregano and, and eating healthily food and stuff. That took so much energy and then on top of that my body was just fighting this thing off so it was exhausted. So everything else felt like so much effort. Like doing anything felt like a ton of effort this week and I didn't want to do anything because I just wanted to 
just allowed to be, be allowed to sleep. Your challenge for this week, take me to a place that is special to you because of the memories that have been formed there and tell me about some of those memories. I think that's it. I think that's all we have to talk about. I miss you and I'm looking forward to seeing you hopefully soon. Not just on here, but like in person. Okay, bye. Well, that's going on the internet.